Okay guys, here we are. We're heading to the marina to head out on the boat. Today is Saturday and we're gonna have an awesome time again as always at the sandbar. So stay tuned. Today we have the babies, my sister with the Mando, Captain Mando is gonna be here today with us and we're gonna do some barbecuing. And there's two items we're gonna test today. One is the battery for the uh, bodega cooler. They sent us a uh, battery that we can put on there and, and it holds up to four hours. And, um, and then the second item is a surprise item, so stay tuned for that. Here we go. Right, guys it is super hot here we have again again and again heat advisories till 6 p.m. today and look at that flag it is not even moving almost not moving it just started moving a little bit now but it was just drooping down a few minutes ago uh, yeah we're sweating crazy here the Sun is hitting us directly but uh, when we get to the sandbar different story it's gonna be nice and cool so stay tuned for more because we have an awesome day here ready for you guys and we have here Odie Cam right there and Captain Mando he'll be right back in a few minutes we're just waiting for the boat to get in the water so stay tuned the weather today it is perfectly awesome temperatures in about 90s and the wind can't complain tops eight miles per hour this morning we have an undocking dilemma looks like it may be a sign for this afternoon so let's see Captain Mando is gassing up his boat and we're all heading out to the sandbar. Considering how beautiful the day is and how low the winds are, there's really really almost no traffic out and about. getting ready to anchor the boat and just look at that water it is beautiful crystal clear you can see the bottom everywhere we arrived to the sandbar with winds of only four miles an hour now that makes it really easy to anchor the boat on your own Wow, 
wasn't expecting this. The water temperature is on the lower end of the 80s. It is nice and cool. It feels so, so good. Today we're going to try out for the first time our barbecue on the water and it is so simple to set up. Just look at this. It's, you can't get better than this. I'm loving our barbecue on the water setup. It is so awesome. It took less than a minute and a half to put together and we're ready to hit that barbecue. If you like to see the installation of our barbecue on the water, check out our video. The link is in the description of this video. I can do it. I know how to do it. I can, I know that's where I sent Mama. Saca la bandera la mano. So, okay. yeah, I, I can do anything and, and upload it to them and they'll print it. Okay. Yo creo que quedó a very good height. La de, la de pelo. La de pelo. Ah, ya comé cualquier cosa. ¿Se cayó? ¡Ay! Está buscando más. No, tú no puedes comer eso. ¿No quiere? No. Ahora no. no. They don't want anymore. Ok. Ok. So. Anchored. Front. Anchor pin is in. My anchor pin is in. Everything has been inflated. Ready to go into the water. And the day is exceptional, beautiful today because the winds are really, really, really low today. The highest number for winds today, eight miles an hour. And uh, there's only us two here and another two boats on the other side, but it's still early and someone walking over there at the sandbar. Okay, so the surprise for today is that uh, we have a battery that Bodega has sent us. Uh, that is installed on under there and uh, what we did is we put it to charge uh, fully last night we put it on the uh, cooler to bring it to the boat and as we brought it to the boat the cooler was still running with the battery uh, right now I have it connected to the plug that I have there the 12 volt plug that I did on the other video and uh, it's using the lithium batteries the lithium batteries is maintaining that battery and not using that battery the, the one on board and uh, we have like about five days of lithium batteries under the current usage we have right now and uh, the second item that I want to do as a surprise is this little thing right here in a boat like this that is completely enclosed just like an RV you're driving an RV down the road you can't see all the way around you even though we have windows all the way around but we have these columns here that makes it a blind spot with this cam right there we have the connection right there at on the gps and i'll show you that in a few minutes so those are the things that i've done here so far and of course we've done some other things that i'm going to do a video and show you everything that i've done so far to the new boat so you can see everything and um and and, and uh, you, you can see most of it here already but uh, this is the install that I did just recently and it is awesome because when we came here I was able to see everything behind me I had no blind spots so all right for now this is my time right now time to relax and have a nice ice cold 38 degrees beer from this cooler Everybody cheers, have a good weekend, enjoy your boats, and don't forget to go out on the sandbar and enjoy your day. Peace from the Keys.
All right, guys, here's a view from the opposite side from the Mando. And we're here on the Mando now because we're doing a little adjustment here under the console there. And I, guys, I want you to see this. This is so awesome that they have installed here. Check this out, this extension here. It has nothing that's holding anywhere. Nothing is in the way. No tubes, no, 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 no belts, nothing. And check it out how it holds on, on the rocket launchers right there. You just slip it into the rocket launcher and you have this whole thing all hanging right there above, giving you shade. And this is, I think, one of the best that I've seen so far. You guys like this? Easy to install. All you have to do is just adjust it to your width of the boat, hang it inside the rocket launcher, and, and tie it down with a uh, little bungee. And that's it. Look at this. Nothing in the way anywhere. That is awesome. So if you guys like this thing, this little cool shade for your boat, all you have to do is just uh, uh, click on that link I'm gonna have in the description if you like this. This is super, super, super good. And it gives you nice shading here at the cockpit. And here we're doing some work. Let's do let's check it out. Prado. Now. Today at the sandbar, there's two birthday parties going on. And I want to say happy birthday to both parties from all of us at Keys Boating Channel. Corre, corre, y ella va más rápido, va más rápido. Aquí se da caliente. Hoy. All right, guys. As you can see right here, I changed that nut, the uh, lock nut because they had that nylon plastic uh, inside there so I took it off and put a regular nut on there um, lock washer and a regular washer and the little stud for the uh, door but as you can see right here it, it stops right there anyway so everything's good the height is it, really good the bottle barely touches the water barely water's right here everything is good the height is good for cooking so we're good we're getting ready to heat it up and start cooking right now right here at the sandbar all right so we finally put that stuff in there look at that check this out this is sandbar eating here the best eating in the sandbar with a barbecue that is hanging right off of the little ledge here and uh, everything is working fine it's on our little air controller it's a little bit open there well, we don't have too much winds today, but uh, if we need more heat, you just close it a little bit. The tank, perfect. The height is perfect, so it worked out really nice. So guys, if you want sandbar barbecuing, this is how you do it right here. Now, one little point that I didn't mention last time, this little clip that goes here, that pin right there, I went and bought a thicker one. So that way, when it's, because it's hanging now, it's not on the other direction like it's supposed to be if we have it coming up this way so i bought this a little bit more thicker more heavy so that way it holds the weight with no problems so far everything is super good and captain mando height Always. how's the height is height comfortable the, the height's comfortable perfect right perfect you can cook here yeah it's, it's excellent it's perfect yeah that, that looks good that looks good i think she got the hang of it now 
she doesn't want to be in the floater anymore she just want to go around say hi to one then go to the other playing tag look at her look at her look at her this is what she likes she found her new love here at the sandbar don't grab her she doesn't want you to grab her she just wants to continue and today people believe it or not it is pretty full in the morning it was empty but all of a sudden everybody came down and uh, got together here at the sandbar what a beautiful day even Lily got the hang of it she wants to be loose she doesn't want to go on anything and Lily is almost 13 years 12 years mama no November. Yeah, 13. She'll be 13. Uh -huh. 13 in November this year. Yeah. Yeah, mommy. She's having an awesome time. Bang, All right, now we got it to work. And what I wanted to mention here is check this water out. It's completely clear. You can see all the way to the bottom here as we walk all over the sandbar. Look how beautiful this is. A little another little outcome of the uh, the cover that we did here to control the uh, heat and the wind we have it a little bit open check this out open it up by yellow check that out nice nice you see how much open we have it just slightly open a little bit and it's keeping that really nice and warm in there and everything is sizzling inside there now that thing is doing some some good because it maintains that heat in there more than more than usual. So it's awesome, awesome. It's working good. No, mira, yo voy a decir, what are we watching? And you go King Boating Channel. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mara. Keyboarding channel. <laughs> Ahí está. I don't know what we're doing. Subscribe. Keyboarding channel. Keyboarding channel. See the keyboard. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe has been a beautiful awesome day here at the sandbar we met new subscribers we've met all people around here awesome people and uh, as you can see they're still around here having an awesome time and right over there they're having a birthday party right here at the sandbar and we are having a barbecue party with our little babies they've been swimming around having fun all day long it is a beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. So I don't know if she's tired or she's just having fun time in the sun. So like we always say, fun in the sun right here. Se acuesta y cuando ve que él llega para allá para el cuarto, coge y se le tira para él a mirarlo en la cara así. Surfing USA. Yeah, she's a little surfer dog.
thought nothing gonna affect me. And when I heard that, I was like, my mom went. Everyone that we meet here at the sandbar is always so friendly and fun-loving people and we love to meet people like that so if you're at the sandbar and you see our flags come by to say hi anytime I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to our channel I want to say thank you for your support Your UM flag. What a beautiful day. It is. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, it's that time of the day again. I hate it. I don't want to go back home. We had such an awesome time here with subscribers and friends and people, new people we met. And you can see them right here next to us, right here. And they're having an awesome time here at the sandbar. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. God bless. And guys, yeah, is that is that time of the day again where we have to go back and yeah, uh, we don't want to go back, but we have to. And uh, so we're packing up and heading back to the marina. And today, uh, Doc and Dilemma coming soon, so stay tuned. Here's the uh, screen um, for the camera. You see the camera there? We have the depth here and the uh, GPS charts here. And uh, if we click on that we could do full screen and we can see everything that's going on behind the boat here and uh, it's mirrored so it looks exactly the way you see it in your car and you can know exactly which direction to turn and, and do whatever you need to do I love this camera and I highly recommend it if you have a boat like this that is enclosed this will help you avoid a lot of issues you know what's going on behind you all the time <laughs> Day. we had such an awesome day at the sandbar and we pray for more days like this many 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 times to come we are now approaching the marina so you know what that means docking dilemma coming up next when you see this many boats standing around waiting to get gas that is not a good sign because that means inside the marina there's really not too much space to dock our boat.
as we come into the marina we've noticed that there's really no space anywhere that it's going to be easy to dock our boat today so that means docking dilemma so we have no other choice than to back in the boat between many many boats in the basin the space left in the basin between boats it's really tight that can only mean that many chances for something to go wrong so you have to be really careful and the best way to approach this is as slow and I mean really slow to avoid any problems this issue is starting to get a little irritating because it's not the kind of thing you want to do when you come back from a long day on the sandbar Remain seated, please. guys we are done clean cleanse down flush the engine and I want you guys to see this we came in today and I don't even know how we got in here because it was really tight you can see that bolt there is really really wide the other one is pretty fairly wide and then the one over there at the entrance and we got in all the way to the end there on the floating dock which is a good thing because I don't have to worry about the lines getting too tight or anything like that but check this out guys this is the docking dilemma here at this marina it's just incredible incredible there's no space almost anywhere to get in all this here full 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 but this is what we have to deal every time we come back 
and the later we come the worse it is because if we would have been here probably by 6 30 7 o'clock we wouldn't have anywhere to put the boat today it's incredible docking dilemma at its best today well anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for subscribing and we'll see you on the next sandbar adventure peace from the keys